Hi, and welcome to Sunshine Startups Live. I'm your host, entrepreneur, investor, and startup enthusiast, Jim Ryan, broadcasting 10 years at Emerge and so excited to be here. And I love doing these vignettes, these 10 minutes with these amazing founders pitching their products and services here. Uh, some just looking to meet up with venture capitalists and some others looking to meet with partners and what have you. And of course, though, I'm joined by John Wensveen. John, it's great to be with you. I, I am so having such a great time. This is truly exciting. It's been fabulous. And the live action, the buzz, the energy, you can feel entrepreneurship in the air. Um, so this has been the most memorable one for me out of the last eight of 10 that I've been here. And so happy we got our show on the road. And I'm so excited because we are about to go to Puerto Rico. <laughs> That's exciting. And as I mentioned, we're talking to entrepreneurs and uh, Sophia Stolberg. Uh, I'm going to show off my Hispanic heritage myself by sharing her name of her company. It is Piloto. Mel, and it's exciting for you to be here with us today, and thanks for carving out the time uh, to talk to us. So tell us about the business. Thank you so much for the opportunity. Really, this is actually my first time at Emerge, so I'm really excited about it. Like you said, so much energy, such yeah. great startups, such great companies all around. Wonderful event. Having a great time here, making tons of connections. So at Pilot de Mail, we basically sell software for mailroom operators, like co-working spaces, property managers, mailbox stores. And we enable them to automate their entire mailroom operations, to automate the entire emergency and compliance process. And then to create, importantly, these virtual mailboxes that allow them to create for their clients an experience, a digital first experience to interact with their postal mail. So they can see pictures of all the mail they receive, letters and packages, and then decide how they want to handle them, whether it's forwarding or scanning or even shredding. So it's interesting. I know a little bit about the business model. Uh, I'm curious cool. about what the market opportunity is, because I imagine it's truly global in nature, and before we got on, you were naming some countries that you actually collaborate with. So what is the market opportunity? It's a huge market. You know, the one thing I love about the mail industry is that it's really unsexy, right? A lot of people, like really wide market, open opportunity. So it's a $71 billion serviceable addressable business. And it spans across, you know, like I said, co-working spaces, property managers, companies with large mail volume, registered agents, incorporators, universities, even, right? So uh, even mailbox. So really, just a really enormous market for us. Very few players, and a great opportunity to continue and stand in our planet. Well, so Sophia. You know, I, I see you. I don't think of mail. Um, you know, it is something that, uh, you know, where did you come up with this idea? Uh, you know, it, see, it seems like uh, it's a, an innovative solution to a problem, but how, where did the incarnation of the idea come from? Yeah, that's actually a great uh, a great question. So we actually also run co-working spaces. We created the first co-working space in Puerto Rico. You should come down and visit. What's it it's called? It's awesome. It's called Below the 151. Oh. Yeah. Okay. And that, but hence Piloto Mail, right? <laughs> Very creative there. <laughs> and what we what we ended up finding was, okay, so co-working and in the backdrop, there's the WeWork bankruptcy that's going on. It's not a really profitable business model in and of itself for just the actual real estate and the square footage. Sure. And we realized early on when we were sort of starting out that that was the case, but that virtual offices actually made it very profitable, right? And we could scale beyond our square footage revenue cap. And that was when we said, okay, aha, this is it. So we started scaling our virtual office memberships. Then we began to be flooded with our customers' mail, like literally buried in it. And then we realized there was this whole compliance process that we were really just not aware of, right? And then finally, I think um, kind of the straw that broke the camel's back is that we had an undercover FBI agent uh, as a member. Actually kind of scary. <laughs> Funny now, right? <laughs> but then we said, you know what? We really need to kind of get a better process around this. We can't handle all this mail volume. We can't handle all this compliance. And so... So we went to the market, we used a competitor software now, and said, okay, this is just not good enough, right? It doesn't do enough to automate the mail handling process. It does nothing to automate the compliance process. 
And that was the beginning of our journey with Piloto Mail. We created it for ourselves. We saw this big market opportunity, and now we're selling all over the world. So I'm curious yeah. about the future as you scale the company, and technology changes all the time. It's yes. accelerating at a rapid pace. It so is. as technology continues to advance, more quickly than humans can adapt to it, there's yeah. going to be a convergence point where technology is too advanced and humans can't keep up. Yeah. How does that impact your business in the future? What kind of technologies are you looking at that can help scale your business? Yeah, so we are, of course, you know, um, as with all startups in tag, we're, we're looking to AI as well to implement it in, uh, in Piloto Mail. And in the end, you know, um, that's going to help us do a lot more with data analytics, right? So right now, if you're an end user on our platform, you're seeing pictures of all your postal mail, you're even getting scans of documents, right? So our next step is obviously incorporating that AI to help you recap those documents, to basically single out um, mail pieces that you're getting from recurrent senders that need attention to create workflows to help you really just unlock the power of uh, of AI with everything that you get from government notifications, right, to even your your personal mail, right? So let's talk and we're seeing a lot more packages too. Which is sure, and, I, and actually that leads me to my question. Talking about the business of acquiring like at this stage, you've got some traction, you've got some customers. That's right. Can you, can you talk about, you know, uh, the onboarding right now and then uh, uh, the customers themselves, what are they paying? Is it a, is it a SaaS model uh, that you have today? So talk uh, a bit about the current traction of the business and how does the business model work? A hundred percent. So right now our initial beachhead market is actually co-working spaces and um, we are in over 20 states right now. We're in some countries in Europe and Australia. We're starting to scale. The way that our model works is a licensing fee for our software based on users and then a fee for mailbox created. So the more mailboxes that you have on our platform, there's a slide to scale, right? And you pay that on a monthly subscription. So yes, 100% we're a SaaS company. I always like to know entrepreneurs and their background. What is your trajectory? What has been your career pathway to where you started to what got you to where you are today? Thank you. I love that. Yeah, so I actually started doing management consulting. <laughs> I'm a recovering management consultant. <laughs> One of the big ones? <laughs> Actually, it was the spin-off of Spain. So Dahlberg, uh, they do global development which was very interesting. So I did a lot of early work actually with Babson. So then I started my own consulting company and did a lot of work with Babson College on entrepreneurship ecosystem development, which actually I'm still very passionate about. We've really developed the entrepreneurship ecosystem in Puerto Rico since we started our co-working spaces and it's really close and dear to my heart. Um, and and then, you know, I said, hey, I, I think there's something more, right? We can actually be an example for other Puerto Rican startups and prove that it is possible to scale a business really from anywhere in the world, including Puerto Rican. That's a great uh, idea. And obviously, Babson is wonderful. So talk about, um, you know, what are you looking to accomplish here at Emerge? Uh, are you looking for venture capital? I'm assuming you have you bootstrapped the business to date. Um, you, your husband, with the team, you know, and, and some maybe some early founders. So to talk about that a, a little bit. Yeah. So, so far, Piloto Mail has been self-funded um, and bootstrapped, as you mentioned. And we are now gaining significant traction with larger players. So we came to Emerge to participate from the Startup Showcase, which has been amazing. And we are now also looking to raise our first seed round. So we're in that process. So if we could put a message out there and you say, world, I need your help. What is it that you need the world to do to help you be successful and scale your business? Connections, right? It's always about connections. So if you know any, anyone that could be interested in our product, any co-working space, any property manager, mailbox store, company with large mail volumes, a registered agent company, uh, send them our way. We'd love to tell them more about our product and see how we can help them streamline their operations and, and make more revenue. When you talked about the co-working space, it was 151? Piloto 151. Does that yeah. have anything to do with rum? It's actually the number on the first building that, uh, that we were in. 
So San Francisco Street 151 in Old San Juan. If you're ever down in Puerto Rico, come down to our co-working spaces. They're awesome. But there is good rum in Puerto Rico, too. Yeah. Great <laughs> right, rum in yes. Puerto Rico. It's the yes. rum capital of the world. Yes. Of course. So, Sophia, as you mentioned about uh, you know what you're looking to accomplish here at Emerge and making those connections, how to potential... Uh, either prospects, customers, partners, and certainly uh, venture capitalists. How do they reach you? How do they reach the uh, the business? Sure. So uh, we're in social, Piloto Mail. Uh, PilotoMail.com is, is our website. And you can always find me on LinkedIn, Sophia Stolberg. So very eager to connect. So terrific. Uh, thank you so much for taking the time. I know you're you're talking to a lot of people, you're pitching and so forth. So thanks for taking the time out to talk to us on the podcast today. Sophia Stolberg, the company is Piloto Mail. Thank you. Thank, Thank you, you so much. Invitation. Thank you. Bye. Remember to subscribe, like, and share the Sunshine Startups Live podcast and follow us on social media. If you're interested in sponsoring or appearing on the show, please email us at booking at sunshinestartups.live.